It's been a while since I've done a PR unboxing, so I've gotten some new things here that I've been kind of stacking up, and I figured we'll just go ahead and play with them today. So, the very first thing I just got yesterday, these are from Ardell Beauty. They're the Metallic Addict Lip Gloss and Lip Cream. There's four colors all together, I think two of the Metallic Lip Gloss and then two of the Metallic, with two L's, liquid lip cream okay so first is this color this is called blind date and it's it looks like it's a really pretty kind of like rose like a metallic-y rose color oh that's pretty that is really metallic i'm not a huge fan of metallic glosses or just lip colors in general i have to be honest this color is metal kiss i just feel like unless you have huge like filled lips it just like makes every single little crack and wrinkle in your like real lips look like poop. <laughs> like it just looks so shriveled up and small. So I feel like metallic lips, the trend is really because so many people have lip fillers right now, which is not a problem. I don't have a problem with that at all. It's just on me. They don't look great. Now these are the lip creams. This is Bite Me, which is like a really pretty kind of like deep burgundy color. And then I mean, these are a really pretty formula. I mean, they are going on really nicely. It's just they don't look great on me. This one is called Hips Don't Lie. It's like a really pretty, oh, that's really pretty. So that one isn't very metallic. I gotta be honest, it's more of like a kind of just, it looks almost matte in a way, but it is a really beautiful peachy tone. So this would be a color that I would actually wear out of all of them because I just, the other three are not my tones. Uh, but they are really pretty if you do like a metallic lip and you do like slightly deeper colors. Then we have some new colors from Physicians Formula. Ah! <laughs> then we have some new colors from Physicians Formula. Ah! <laughs> what is wrong with you? I just wanted to do that. that would be That gave me a headache, like an instant headache, idiot. Thanks for my headache, jerk. Okay, so next we have some things from Physicians Formula. These are the Healthy Lip Glosses, I believe. 13 shades all together. It says that these are Lavishly pigmented with rich, creamy texture, the healthy lip velvet liquid lipstick combines long-lasting wear with an ultra-hydrating formula. This lightweight, soft, satin matte formula features avocado oil and vitamins A and E that hydrates and moisturizes, while hyaluronic acid smooths for a healthy and beautiful pout. These are, does it say how much they are? No. It does not say how much they are. So there's lots of shades here, and that's not even all of them. There's a ton in here. So we'll just go ahead and just do some little hand swatches. So the very first color is a color that I think I will probably be wearing. This is all natural nude. It's like a really pretty nude shade. Oh good, it has the good wand. It has the flexible good wand. Oh yeah, that's a really pretty color. They're sweet, but then they have slightly a sunscreen? I don't know what that smell is. It's not terrible, but it, you can smell it for sure. Next we have the color Bear With Me. This looks like more of a rosy nude. Yeah, so this one's slightly deeper. These are pigmented. That one is definitely more of a warm kind of rose nude shade. I love the wand. I think the applicator is great. The square tips can sometimes for me just be a little awkward to hold if you have smaller hands. I, maybe I just have really small hands, but I feel like they're a little clumsy sometimes. I prefer a rounder tip, but that's just me. But I think the actual packaging is pretty. It looks really shiny and chic, and like I like the fact that you can see the color through the actual packaging. So this color is called Coral Minerals, and that one is a true coral. Really pretty. This one is called uh, Nutritious, but maybe with nut. Is it Nutritious? I don't know. This is kind of more of like a brownie shade. Yeah, this wand is so good. It's so flexible, but it has a little point. You get a lot of color on there. Wands are important to me. I feel like the wand can really make or break a product. This is the color Dose of Rose. So this one is obviously gonna be more of a kind of like rosy kind of pink color. Yeah, 
These are all really beautiful. Vitamin beet. Okay, so that is like a beet, kind of like purpley, pinky, yeah, almost fuchsia-y. How many colors can I say in one description? Then we have the color Fight Free Reticles. Get it? Reticles. Okay, that's really pretty. That's like a really pretty deep red. And look how pigmented those are. That just covered up my mole completely. That's a good amount of color. And we have a magentile formula. So this is obviously gonna be a magenta. Oh yeah, that's like straight up bright magenta. Look how pretty these are, guys. These are all really gorgeous. This one is called Red Storative Effects. Okay, so this is like more of like a brick red. It's got a little bit more brown in there. So I will say the majority of these are darker colors and the nudes are not that light. I would prefer to have had maybe one or two lighter shades in there, personally for me, just because I like really light nudes. But if you like deeper colors, then these are definitely gonna be the colors for you because they have a lot of really good like shades. This one is called Nourishing Plum. So this one is called Up Lip, no, 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 sorry, Two Lip Treatment. That's pretty, that's kind of like a corally shade. Raisin Immunity, get it? Cause it's like the color of raisins. So that's like a nice kind of like, almost like a plummy brown. It's the color of a raisin. I don't like raisins at all. They're not good. Uh, and then last but not least, we have Berry Healthy, which is gonna be like a nice berry tone. It's like a nude berry. So there's all the shades. So you can see they're all really pretty. I mean, that nude is really beautiful. I just wish there was one that was slightly lighter because for the majority, everything is quite dark for my liking, but that nude is a really pretty tone. So I'm impressed with those. I think the quality is nice. The packaging is nice. The wand is fabulous. And the colors are really pretty. So go Physicians Formula. They've been coming out with some awesome products lately. Okay, next we have some goodies from Butter London. So I think they've been out for a while, but they are new to me. I've never tried them before. These are the Glazen Blush Jellies. Iconic jelly texture, pearl suspension for multi-dimensional shimmer. Builds and blends effortlessly, conditioned skin, dries to a lightweight powdery finish, and they are long wearing. And they sent me some little jelly beans that say so jelly. I don't like jelly beans, so the kids will love those. Maybe I'll sneak them with some Easter eggs for them. So let's just go ahead and try these babies out. The first color is Sparkle. The packaging is like this. It's got that little pink on the top and you can see the actual color of the blush from the bottom of the packaging, so I like that. Wow, this is like jiggly wiggly pudding. Interesting. It's quite like wet looking or like very jiggly. So this is sparkle. Oh wow, that's pretty. Look at that. Kind of like a rose gold and a copper mixed together. Not sure how that would look on the actual cheek. Okay, the next color we have is flicker. Oh wow, this one looks really pretty. This one looks like it's kind of like an orangey. Oh, it says closed lid tight. It comes with like a little lid. It says closed lid, closed lid tight to last. Oh yeah, so that one's a slight bit more peachy. They're really pretty. They really do have like such a pretty sheen to them. I'm so confused as to how they'll apply, like what they're actually gonna look like on. Cause they're definitely like an interesting texture. I think you'd probably be better off to apply it with like a beauty blender, but I'm gonna have to play with them on my face to see the true effect. This one is called Dazzle. This one looks like slightly deeper, might have more of like a rose kind of pink tone to it. Yeah, so this one is definitely like a deeper kind of like pinky, like a cool, it kind of has like a bit of a purpley tone in there. Glimmer is like a really pretty pink. Oh God, this is like so pretty. It has like an opalescent kind of like, it's like pink with like an opal kind of undertone. Oh gosh, yes, that color is so pretty. <gasps> Look at that. The, I mean, they are very light reflected. They're really beautiful colors. I just don't know like what they're actually gonna look like on my face, but they are really cool. I mean, they're really pretty. Okay, so next we have some 
super fan fanned out mascara. Who is this by? Oh, this is from Smashbox. Starring Superwoman or I I Superwoman I I Lily Singh. I don't know. <laughs> Did I say that or is it two Superwoman two? I think it's I I. I don't know. Anyway, always on gel eyeliner. So this is like a very interesting like packaging. It's kind of like whoosh whoosh like that. And this oh. So it's actually like a liquid liner. Whoa, look at that. That went on smoothly. I never wear liquid eyeliner because you guys know just my eyes are too, there's too much lid nowadays or too much hood over. Um, this is the Super Fan Found Out Mascara. Let's see what the wand looks like. Oh, it's the stabby wand. I don't like stabby wands. I'll have to try it out to see if I like it. I just don't like stabby ones. I just feel like they're too separated. They don't make it look as, I don't know, as dramatic as I like. I mean, her lashes do look really beautiful in the actual um, picture. They look nice and separated, but sometimes I just feel like they separate it too much. They don't build the volume quite as much as I would like. It says it's 12 hour volume, length and lift, no clumping, smudging, or flaking. And then I got a box from Maybelline. This is Get Glowing. So this says, shine bright, Maybelline. Get it, Maybelline? The Maybelline New York Master Holographic Prismatic Highlighter. You guys ready for this, baby? This is the Prismatic Highlighter number 050 looks like this. It looks like it's just a straight up white powder. Let's just see how it swatches. It does look like there's a bit of a pinky sheen. Oh god. Wow, that's so pretty. Oh my gosh, that is really beautiful. Oh wow, that's really like holographic. It kind of has like a nice like white but like opal sheen to it when you turn. There's like a bit of a pinky kind of purple glow. But then it also looks really sparkly like as you move the light over it's like it really shifts that's nice that feels really nice too that i like the texture of it wow that's really pretty i kind of want to put some on shall we i mean i already have a highlight on so sometimes it's hard to tell but i think that just kind of like amped it up just a little yeah, that's pretty. It has a really nice sheen to it, like as you turn. I mean, obviously this is over something else. I think if I used it alone, it would be even more intense, but it does have a really pretty sheen. Okay, then we have the Master Chrome by Face Studio Metallic Highlighter, Highlighter 050. This is in the color Molten Rose Gold. I've actually talked about these before. I love these, they're so good. I think I have like a more goldy one and it is so beautiful. The finish, the texture, they're such a great highlight. So this is just like a straight up rose gold. Oh God, they feel wet, like they're so creamy. They really are very, very pigmented, especially for a drugstore, it's like holy moly. So you can see that's the rose gold one and it is like a really pretty soft kind of pinky rose, but it's quite light, really beautiful. Look at that opal one. Oh my gosh, it catches the light so well, like that one's intense. And then we have some new liners. These are the Maybelline New York Lasting Drama Light Liner. It says, open your eyes like never before. I can't get them out. This liner's waterproof formula adheres to the upper lid, inner corner, and waterline for eye brightening made easy in five shades. So these are the five shades that they have. So let's just go ahead and swatch these. So this one is called, o or sorry, 820 Starlight Gold. Oh wow, that's creamy. So that's just like a really kind of like, it's like a really pale, almost like a silvery gold. It's definitely quite light. Next we have the color 830 Shiny Bronze. These are definitely light. That one is like a really, it's almost like a rose gold actually. It's kind of less of a bronze and more of a rose gold. Then we have the color 840 Moonlight Purple. Oh wow, that one's really creamy and rich. That one's like a really pretty, kind of shimmery, almost like a gray purple. Then we have uh, 850 twi Twinkle Black. Okay, so that one is like a shimmery, it's got like little speckles of gray shimmer in it, but it is black, it kind of almost looks charcoal. And then we have the color 810 White Luster. And that one is just like a straight up like white kind of silvery shade. I'll get up close for you guys. 
Okay, so those are the highlighters. You can see how like opal and like, oh my gosh, it, it reflects the light so well. It's really intense. There's the rose gold one, and then those are the liners. So again, really creamy, pigmented, super pretty colors. They're very light reflective. Okay, then we have another box from Butter London. This is the Stroke of Wow Mascara that will give your lashes mega volume. Well, that's exciting. They sent this big, huge patch that you could stick on something, like a little iron patch, but it's like sequiny glitter. This volumizes and lengthens. It's double-sided molded brush, buildable, long-wearing, and it conditions lashes all at the same time. It's got the big bed on it which is cool, I mean it is Butter London. Um, and then it just says, Stroke of Wow, Volumizing Mascara. The time is now to wow them with max volume. Get the London look. Doesn't that remind you of that? It does. Hmm. So here's the before and after of the girl. So that's pretty good lashes. I hate when they're like, look at the difference, and it's like false lashes, and you're like, look, I'm not stupid. I know that's a false lash, my friend. Okay, so I like the packaging. I think it's really pretty. It's black. It's got that kind of peachy pink. It's kind of cute. Like, it's just like a... I don't know, I like it. I think the packaging is really cute, but is it a stabby wand? That is the question. It's a stabby wand, but it's a longer stabby wand on one side. So one side is short and then one side is long. So I'm guessing that you probably do both. It says position the shorter bristle side of the wand at the base of the lash and comb through for the volume, for ultimate volume. Then flip the wand over and use the comb side for added definition and intensity. Okay, so you start off with the short one and then you go back with the second coat with the long one to make it super dramatic. This is another thing I'm just gonna have to use and try. The wand is better because it has the longer stabbies, which I think to me is, I, I prefer, because it could be better, like more product on there. But that's something that I'm, have, I'm gonna have to give a go. Let me know if you guys wanna give it, if you want me to give it a go like on camera so that we can see it in action. Leave a comment down below. Love the packaging though, I think it's really cute. Okay, next I got a little bubble box from Sky Organics. The kids love these. They are little bath bombs. They come in a box every month and they are themed. So like this one is all green because it's St. Patrick's Day. They smell delicious um, and they fizz in your bath. They're really super fun. We've got this little one which is so cute. It's a little green heart with like little kind of confetti sprinkles in it. <sighs> what does that smell like? Is that lime? I don't know what that smells like. Don't know what these flavors or scents are. Um, this is just like a plain green bomb. What is that smell? I know it. It's gotta be lime. I think it's lime. And then we have one that kind of looks like the earth. Doesn't that look earthy? They, I think they all kind of smell like lime. They've all like stuck next to each other and they all smell like lime to me. This one might be more floral. But the rest of them smell like lime or lemon or something like that, but really cute. They're really fun. They do make the bath like different colors. They really fizz up. Some of them are creamers. Some of them are like fizz bombs and they really are fun. The kids love them. Saw someone's video of this like in action and I was like, oh my goodness, this looks so amazing. This is the Plush Body Cocoa and Gold 24K Coffee Scrub. The reason I think it looks so cool is that it's actually like a coffee scrub. So you put it on in the shower to kind of exfoliate, but it leaves behind gold sparkles all over your skin so that when you get out of the shower, you're actually gold. Like not gold, like full on metallic gold, but you have little gold sparkles all over. How beautiful is that gonna be in the summertime? So it says, you are gold baby, solid gold. And it says, Two to four times weekly, works best in shower, wet skin first, gently scrub over body, rinse and enjoy. And then as you get out, it's actually gold. Like I'm so excited to try it out. I haven't tried it out yet. It's got uh, roasted and ground coffee, purified water, coconut fruit, coconut essential oil, jojoba essential oil, sea salt, brown sugar, vitamin E oil, 24 karat active gold and mica. It's vegan, it's cruelty free, it's all natural, it's non-GMO. I am so excited to try this out and see if it actually does leave me with gold shimmers all over my body because that would be amazing. Okay, and then we have this little Juno & Co makeup sponge. Now these are interesting because it's a microfiber fusion sponge. They're $4. So I was like, wow, $4. I think I'm gonna do like a first impressions where I'm just like trying it out and just seeing if it's like, is this good for four bucks? Cause $4 for a beauty sponge, 
is amazing. Okay, so it says you can use it wet to apply liquid foundations and you can also apply concealers and contouring. It said avoid using too much product the first time. Fully wet your Juno sponge by running it under water and squeeze out any excess liquid to begin. So like a regular beauty sponge. Apply a dime sized amount to the back of your hand to start the application. Gradually add more product to stipple and achieve the coverage you want. Be sure to dab and blend for the most flawless look. So it's weird because it's, it's fuzzy. Like when you touch it, it actually has like this fuzzy kind of like texture. Um, so that's the shape of it, but it feels, I don't even know what that is. It just feels fuzzy. Um, and then it says use it dry to apply loose powders. So if you want to actually like, you know, bake, then you can use it dry. I'm dying to know what this is actually like going to do because it seems so weird to be applying your foundation with like a fluffy, fuzzy textured sponge. Like it's such a weird, weird texture. It's supposed to, you're supposed to use less product because of that like fuzzy kind of like, it's almost like, like a, it feels like a peach, like the outside of a peach. It's like that peach fuzz. Yeah, like it says less product waste and more even application. So I think again, I'm gonna do like a straight up review of just this, cause I'm dying to know how it applies foundation and if it does actually use less product and if that fuzzy texture leaves like little fuzzy marks on your face. So. I'll be doing a review of that very soon. I'm dying to know what it's like and it's $4. So if it is good, then that's saving you guys like probably 15 bucks. Cause I think aren't beauty blenders like 20 bucks. I know my sponge is 1750. So it's still up there. $4 would be awesome if it does actually work. But that is everything that I have gotten recently. I hope you guys enjoy. Leave a comment down below. What out of everything are you most excited about? What is something that you could see yourself picking up? Thank you guys for watching. Leave me a thumbs up if you found this fun and I will see you guys in my next video. Happy Monday. Don't forget to subscribe, click that notification bell, and that's about it. Mwah. Bye guys.